Let's write the structural formula for pentanone. So the first thing we notice with pentanone here is this O-N-E at the end. When you see that O-N-E, you're going to have a ketone. In a ketone, you have a carbon here. It's double bonded to an oxygen, and you have carbons on either side. So we know we're going to have a carbon with a double bond to an oxygen. There'll be carbon atoms on either side. The pent, pent means five. So we're going to have five carbon atoms in a chain with that double bonded oxygen. So let's write five carbon atoms in a chain and let's number them. So the question is, where do we put that double bonded oxygen? If you're just given the name pentanone, you really can't tell. You know you have it, but does it go on the second or the third or the fourth? We do know that it has to have a carbon on either side. So we could put it here and carbon will only have four bonds. So we have one, two, three, four. Let's get rid of this one here. So this would be pentanone. This would be called two pentanone because the carbon second carbon here has the double bond. As you might imagine, we could move this over here to the third carbon. And let's move this here and one of these here. So each carbon has four bonds. And this would be called three pentanone. So you either have two or three pentanone. You might want to move it over to the four. But what happens is when we move it to the four, that means we start numbering here one, two, three, four, five, to have the lowest number. So it really would just be one, two, pentanone, as opposed to four pentanone. So that's it. That's the structure for pentanone. We looked at two pentanone, and here on the screen we have three pentanone. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.